the cutest thing. She really is. And thank you for my birthday flowers. She of sent course. me flowers. It's so sweet. I, I was going to see you today. I was like, I have Aww. to, like, That's send her flowers. So nice Happy belated you. birthday. Thank you. You're thank a class you. act. You are. Thanks, love. Thank so, you. you, know, we, you know, you're very successful. We all know you're, you're a powerful voice. I'm, I'm curious about people when they're like you. Well, where did that start? Who, who gave you that? Your mother? I feel like upbringing has a lot to do with it. I think my parents always instill this crazy confidence in me having opinions. Um, that it doesn't matter what your opinion might be, but you need to have it. Mm. Um, it might be right, it might be wrong, but it's yours. Right. Mm -hmm. And that sort of, as I was growing up, you know, we used to do pros and cons about all the decisions that I took and courage of conviction. And that just makes you so confident when it you're does. growing up, knowing that your parents are, they have your back. And second of all, whatever my opinion might be, it's mine. Right. And there's a there's a strength it's okay. to that. Yeah. Were other absolutely. girls that you knew like that raised that way? Um, no, I think it was very unique. Um, I my parents were very unique that way, which is why somewhere like the movie that I'm talking about here, The Sky Is Pink, reminded me of that because the parents in this movie are absolutely about even if their their daughter's life is not long, they're going right. to make her life big, you right. know, live it every day and be encouraged and positive and joyful. And I feel like in like the cynical world of today, it's important to have examples like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, it's an emotional film, and we're going to get to that in a second. And last time you came, I think you had been <laughs> married to Nick, Nick Jonas, as we all know, <laughs> three months. <laughs> you guys were newly married. It's now been almost a year. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be a year and a month, I think. How, how do you guys make it work? I follow you on Instagram, and it seems like you are two of the busiest people out there. You're traveling all the time, not always together. How do you keep it going? You know, that's something we always knew about each other, that our, our work is very important to us. And I think it's so amazing to find a partner who understands that and respects it. Mm -hmm. Um, like, I remember right before we got married, I was filming The Sky is Pink till about four days before I got married. And Nick came down 20 days before and he was like, I want you to focus on your film and I'm going to take care of all the prep with, like, my mom and him did everything. I just wore my dress and arrived, you know? So, like, to have someone who understands what my personal ambitions are outside of him and I understand his, you just make it work. And thank God for video calling, I'll tell you that. And not, <laughs> something that not everyone knows, my sister has type 1 diabetes. Right. And every time I see her, I'm, a, I'm reminded of how her life is different than mine. And it's not easy. And, and Nick has type 1. Yeah. How much have you learned from him and just his strength and getting up every day? And, and you know, it's, it's a commitment. I mean, initially when we first got married, I couldn't wrap my brain around the fact that he knew when his sugar dropped even while he was sleeping. He has this crazy discipline. He felt it. Yeah, he yeah. feels yeah. it. But like, I used to wake up in the middle of the night to just check if everything is okay yeah. for a really long time. Mm -hmm. But he has been taking care of his diabetes since he was so young um, that he just has a crazy discipline about it. Mm -hmm. He knows exactly what to do, when to do. And he lives the biggest life possible. He's not restricted himself from anything. He plays sports, he's touring. He you know, lives an incredible life and it's so inspiring to see. In fact, when he set up Beyond Type 1, which is his foundation, like that's what he wanted to show people, that even if you have um, type 1 diabetes doesn't mean your life has to be different. Mm -hmm. You can like live it to its fullest and it's so inspiring to He's me. He's a great example. He really is.